All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of um, what's it called? Oh yeah, Back to the Future. <sighs> Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Okay. Um. This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? She can't hear me. Yeah, you weren't loud enough. I gotta get out of this death trap. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? Alright, so I'll just have to explain this real quick. Um, so this is the third game, yeah? Another alternate reality. And apparently I've already played through the whole game. Um, it's on episode 4 that I got stuck on. So I should be able to do this pretty fast. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Uh... Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year. 1986! Duh! Oh man, oh man, this can't be happening. Yeah. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Uh Never mind. I got to get out of this car. Good idea. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And um You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? Uh. All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. And I'll just take this. Jennifer. This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. Uh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never take such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Apparently you can. Whoa, whoa, whoa!
Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Do you? Do you really? Need this? Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Yeah, pick it up. It's barely hanging oh. on to the axle. Need this thing. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. You need a battery. I, I played this like a week ago, so I remember absolutely everything. I yeah, just check that. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Yeah, no kidding. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. And yes, Marty doesn't know how batteries work. Of course, people have plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Oh! oh. Far out. Bye bye. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID, in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up, spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet, hold still. Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Yeah. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? 
Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. And I'm gonna be quite kind of quiet because there's a lot of talking cutscenes in this. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Okay, let's exit. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Do they have guns, I wonder? In Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. And there's the Lima version of this crappy Hill Valley. Biff? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you. Okay, um, let's go talk to Biff. I guess. Apparently you can't walk there anymore. Oh, and they blocked that off as well. This sucks. Um, hey, Biff. Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Madison Plus program. Um. Listen, Biff. That car I saw you get out of was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. Eh. Uh. You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Uh, please. What is this? Citizen Plus. It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? Eh. Uh. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Uh... What do you gotta do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. 
But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. Uh, so what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. Uh... So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin. I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Um. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. To be honest, I really heard all that stuff, and it's kind of boring. Ooh. yeah, I can actually use this now to pause. So you won't break any rules anymore? Kit, the Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Eh. Uh... Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Um, sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah. <laughs> used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what, you wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. D don't torment me. <laughs> I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, Biff, you're off the hook this time. Uh, yeah, he's fine. All right, can I? Do I actually have to talk through the whole thing? Wow. I can get used to this. Please, Martin, don't make me angry. All right, Biff, you're off the hook this time. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. I actually have to do all of this stuff. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Yeah. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. No, he's not. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always 
discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old, nasty self. Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. I forgot that I didn't, I didn't find this button, so I didn't actually have to listen to you. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.